Hey guys, my name is Catherine and I am showing you an engraving art um, box that I got as a gift uh, a while back. Sometimes it takes us a while to get around to doing the things that we get uh, from other people, even if we want to, um, other things get in the way. Um, so I do have this kit for doing engraving art. It is made by Royal and Lang Nickel. Um, it's supposed to come with all of the things that you need in order to do this rainbow chameleon uh, piece of engraving art. So it says that it's got uh, the printed board, the scrape cutter, and a practice piece in case you want to practice your cuts on it. The instructions say to experiment with the scrap piece first, making fine lines and detail lines, you know, in order to make sure that you can do all the different um, scrapes. And then it says begin at the top of the board and keep a paper underneath your hand to prevent fingertip prints. And then um, while working on your picture, brush off the excess with a damp cloth. I didn't sit down with the damp cloth, but I do have a bit of paper towel, so I hope that's good enough. Let's open this up and get started. Um, go, let's see if I can, scissors aren't gonna do it. Let's get out the craft knife. There's a sticker holding this flap closed. So if I can get underneath the sticker and cut it, should be able to get it open. There we go. I haven't done one of these since I was a child, but I remember making them myself. All you really need is a bit of foil. Um, aluminum foil will do, but like the shiny metallic papers or um, things like that would work too, and some acrylic paint. This is the scraper. It's not only held in with bits at the side, but also a sticker. Let's pop it out of the plastic. Okay, it's got a plastic handle and it's a metal scraping bit. Set that aside for a moment and then pull the project out. Okay, that's the practice piece. We're just going to set our box aside. So here's our practice piece. Oh, it's stuck down. Okay, well I guess that way it doesn't get lost. Um, and then that is our printed chameleon. So it looks like they include everything you need. All right, let's do a quick, couple quick practices. Um, okay, well that's a thin line and a thick line and a medium line and a really thick line. Yep, seems to scrape. <laughs> All right, let's turn this the right way and get started. So it wants you to start at the top and work your way down. And they also include this bit of cardboard that is handy dandy and perfect for using to put underneath your hand to prevent um, fingerprints. I'm sure they didn't intend it for that purpose, but it's there. All right, so the idea, I think, is to just scrape off all of the printed blue. There we go. Seems to be coming along. I'll probably end up speeding this up um, because although it is definitely coming along, um, this may take a little while. That's quite all right. I'm just also not going to make you sit all the way through it. All right, let's art.
a chameleon on a branch with a tree behind it and a waterfall in the background. <sighs> that was harder than I remember it being as a child. That was more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I think probably part of that was that I did it all in one sitting and I probably should have broken it up into like two or three um, tur turns for doing it because that wore my hand out a little bit. Um, other than that, it was, I think, more difficult because of the pre-printed pattern on it. It's got this background of black, but then there was printed blue over the top of it, and the blue sections were what you were supposed to scrape away. But because the blue was printed over the top of the black, it uh, was just more difficult to scrape away than the black was. So it's much easier to get the black than it is to get the blue, and you end up getting scratching away parts that you don't intend to. It would, I think, be easier if it was just a black sheet and you were able to design your own picture. It probably wouldn't be, well, depending on your own skill level, you'd probably end up with something that was less detailed than this. I know I would. I would have stopped way sooner. Um, but I like it. It turned out well and I had fun doing it. Um, it was a challenge, which I do occasionally enjoy. And I like the way that it turned out. So I'm probably going to hang this up in my hallway with uh, the other pieces of art that I've got hanging up in my hallway because that's where I hang things. Um, but I keep saying I'm a lot. But one thing I did notice was the scratcher started bending back. And I remember that happening when I was a kid too, so that's not super surprising. It's just difficult enough to scratch it um, that you have to apply enough pressure that it ends up bending the metal, which is all right. It's not meant to be used for more than just one occasion anyway. Oh, something I did notice. The reason why they recommended using a damp cloth. You see all this over here? This is all black scratching dust, which if you were using a, a damp cloth to wipe up with, would end up mostly on the cloth and not on your work surface. So that is a recommendation for keeping your work surface clean. This is what I did today. Um, I would love to hear what you're doing today. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what you're up to and other than that make sure you remember to subscribe that way you can also get notifications when I put up new things because if you like this uh, you'll probably like the other things that I do too I'm always trying new things and I'm happy to share the things that I'm trying with you uh, so please stick around and join the family and I will see you all next time. Bye.